Morning everybody, today I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick open box of the 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery. It's a new arrival to the lithium battery scene, well at least from what I've read. And it's uh, from Wise, if I'm saying that right. So let's do an open box of this. It's, it's one of the newest that they've come up with. They've known for some of their standard batteries, but let's go ahead and see what's in the box here and take it from there. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut that seal here on the top. Take that down. It's a mystery because when I when I noticed this one uh, on the listings online, I I wanted to verify where the company was located at. Uh, it, it's just a matter of course because you got a lot of people selling stuff through Amazon, and they it, Amazon is like a little window seal for a lot of companies that don't even have a, a physical space in this world. So so I'm curious to see, I could not find a physical address for, for, the, for this wise company. So as you can see, we're pulling this out here. And uh, the packaging is quite normal. Right in there, you got you know, one, four, five, six pieces of the styrofoam. And, and then there's a, I accidentally got them now, yeah. And they come with this this, this leaflet uh, referencing various specifications uh, for, for your battery. Now, uh, here's my label information. Now on the label here, it has a, a, a 5060, it looks like Avalon Ridge Parkway, uh, suite number 900, Norcross, Georgia, 30071. Uh, 27 pounds and they shipped it, it looks like or the label was printed on the 22nd now this give them credit will ship quite quickly it was one of those faster reference parts online to, to you know indicating when it would get here a lot of the other batteries were like you know take a couple a week or so and I, I wasn't interested in that so let's just go and finish taking this out of its box and packaging and uh, these are just kind of loosely put on there your positive and load now I don't have any testing equipment on me just yet but I'm gonna we'll figure that out as we go along with more information on this new battery that's coming out by wise if I'm saying that correctly now let's take a quicker look of what's going on here on, on the outside and in and around it Uh, hopefully I zoomed in just enough, but not too much. I'm gonna sit on their box. Now the box has got quite a sense of integrity to it, but this is a, a, a battery and nobody wants to monkey around with that in the uh, shipping environments. So let's take a look here. We got the life, I call it life pole, but it's basically lithium, iron, phosphate this is I'm assuming the uh, from the periodic tables from the, the chemical compositional uh, uh, language uh, uh, up there uh, you got obviously the specs I put them on the screen but the ones that we all know about are the 12 volt 100 amp hour this one's got watt hours of 1280 that makes sense you get 100 times 12.8 is 1280 to get your watt hours i mean it's uh these these have gone through the the generation here of really streamlining themselves for for consumption here in today's world so now on this one here they give you this this looks like this uh, they they got this laying around they just slip it in the box for you now, one thing I did notice here, now let's just take a look here up top. You've got, it looks about quarter inch. These are quarter inch um, uh, bolts that go in there. You get a lock washer and a standard washer around it, putting it in. It looks like about a three quarter inch to an inch. I would say three quarter. And it comes right up and up. The indicator here is, is indicated with red. So in case you, you get it wrong, you've got black on that side 
And these are kind of left loose because these are the these are for your main cables and these will go around there. Now that's nice because you know they kind of provide that for you. This looks like it comes off if you want to fiddle with it. And it's not that impossible. You just kind of loop it through. It's got kind of like a little a little maze you walk work it through. And it's it, it's quite light. It I mean it feels light. It it feels light. It doesn't feel like it's shifting a huge bowling ball in there. It's just uh, uh, balanced as far as the weight's concerned. There's no real heavy spots. And, and that's one thing I noticed when you pull it out. You see this big square box, a rectangular box, and, it, and it's quite light. This actually you use is to pull it out of the box and then to put it where you're going, like I said, you can remove it. Again, so as I was telling you, I, my, 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 I'm looking to see where this company is located at. Now, it says down here, made in China, all right? Now, and that's it. That's the only reference in this right here for the company, but where is they, where are they located at on the planet Earth? I, I did just your usual search, uh, even there's a Wikipedia entry on here. It talks about batteries and whatnot, but there is, there is no no address. Now I, I, I'm going to reference Battleborn. You go to Battleborn, and they put their website address on their batteries. And they don't they don't monkey around. They want you to know what they're talking about. Now I'm showing you there is no manufacturer, no address, no warranty information, absolutely nothing in the listing. The only thing they got is it's the 30 days at least and Amazon Prime. This one's pretty much I think the only one that was Amazon Prime. Everyone else has to, you know, it's just shipped from the actual seller and packaged from, sold and shipped from. So that's that's the only reason I monkeyed around with this because if something strange at, at the end of the, these, within this 30 days is revealed to me about this battery, this company, where it's located, and in fact the information, I thought they would provide more specific information about a warranty in here. And this is all I got. Uh, 30 days is not going to hack it. Okay? You go to Battleborn, they say 10 years. Okay, so so on this particular one, when you're when you're when you're researching these, right? You've got a few out there, Renogy and all whatnot. You got you're gonna you're gonna be looking at the their their the quality of service from the company, all right? Not just the product. You take this apart, take the cells and put them all next to each other. They're all using the same cells. This does have a battery ma uh, battery management system, but we don't know what it looks like. We there is, you know, and this is why you need to reference who we're talking about here. We need to be able to put them on the stage and ask them questions about their battery management system and just to get some assistance with charging. Because these, when you're going in the off-grid application, it is a tedious process until you get it down packed. And you got to do it about 20,000 times. So, this is the concern right now. Now, yeah, anybody can get some plastic, send it off to China slap some cells in they probably send it to the cell warehouse and then they package it all in there and then the, the one thing that I, differentiates them all that they get a little fancy with are your battery management systems and i bet you they got some clearing houses that that offer a system to to the highest buyer they got quality difference and then you've got those manufacturers that will actually make their own battery management system but i think it could be just pieced together Slap the label on. Look at this. I could peel this label right on off if I wanted to and put another one on there. So it's blue. It actually kind of feels marine-ish. I did bring a, a measuring tape out here because I wanted to, I don't remember, but let's measure it just, just, just to see it on the, on the measuring tape. Put these out of the way. I'm going to lose them. So if I take the measuring tape here, I'm running across the front. It is just under 13 inches. I would say one foot, 15 sixteenths of an inch, if you want to get right in there. So that is 
Yeah, I don't, I've got to look at the standard. It seems bigger than your standard. The, the depth here from the back to the front is about six and three quarters, okay? I'm not gonna monkey around with that sixteenth of an inch less. Six and three quarters on the depth. Again, the width up here is just around twelve and three quarters up on the top. Now, I, was, I wasn't going from the side to the side of the walls of the battery. So that, that, I would call that 13 inches. You ain't monkeying around with that. Now, which one do we forget? Though so the height. Now let's do the height now. Put that down there like that. And what we got there is eight and a half inches, almost right on the spot. Of course, these are right, you'll make a box a little bigger than that, half inch all around, some padding. But that is, you got eight and a half, Let's do it all at once. So you got 13, eight and, a, eight and a half to the top of the blue, and six and three quarter on the background. Now on this, I would say, let's just do this one. I ain't gonna touch the terminal now. That'd be, it might get a spark here with this aluminum. It got about, about 11 inches, 10 and three quarter inches from center to center, I would say. And then you could verify that yourself. You've got a plus sign, you got a minus sign etched in plastic here, so in case you're colorblind, you can see the actual imprint. This is molded into the plastic as far as the positive and the negative, in case you're colorblind and you can't see that this is the red one and this is the black one. It says minus and plus here in plastic, so you, you can see it both visually and in print on the plastic itself in case somehow this gets discolored or you're colorblind. Now let's see what else is going on here. I don't see much else to talk about it, but I just tell you, if you look around online, this is one of their the batteries. Let's go ahead and wrap that up with that. I, I'm, I'm tired of looking at this battery. It's, it's getting me silly not knowing who, who makes that. I, I ain't know.